Hey everyone, so today I have another Thomas and Friends Wood Review, and it will be Diesel's Dairy Drop-Off. Alrighty, let's have a look at the box first. There's the Thomas and Friends Wood logo. There's Thomas next to, I think this is a clock, it looks like a clock, that says real wood on it, and 2 plus. The name of the pack, Diesel's Dairy Drop-Off. There's a picture of what you get inside the pack. And there's everything there. On this side, it's just the same thing as the front. Uh, on the back, we have a nice picture of what you can do with the pack. Like there's diesel with the milk all spilt everywhere. And there's the name of it again, Diesel's Dairy Drop Off. Thomas and Friends Wood logo again. Alrighty, let's get it opened alrighty so here is everything out of the box and first I think we'll have a look at diesel so here is the diesel that comes in this pack there's his face, and I haven't done a review on the, you know, original Diesel without uh, any milk splatters on him, but I do think Diesel looks really, really good. On the bottom, they named it Dairy Diesel, and he has the two metal pegs. He has all the really nice details. He doesn't have anything on the back, it's just black. And I really like the white milk all over him. It kind of looks cool. There's his buffer beam, which is red. And it looks really nice. Honestly, yeah, it's a really nice um, exclusive diesel to get in this pack. It's very nice. Alrighty, so the next thing we'll have a look at is the truck that comes in this pack. And they called it the Dairy Car. It's actually it's actually pretty nice. Um, it has the fully painted chassis, although the top is plastic, but it does have a nice print of a cow on both sides. And over here, it looks a little bit weird, like the plastic. Um, I don't know. It looks um a bit lighter than the rest of the red, but yeah, it looks pretty cool, and it has these like flex in it. Which I, I don't know if it, if that's actually wood in it, like mixed into the plastic. I don't know if that's wood or if it's um, something else. But it, it looks pretty good. Although, the thing is, they could have used this truck, like from the Aquarium Trucks 2-pack. Because, you know, it's wood. It's mainly made of wood. They could have just repainted it. But, you know... I do like this truck. It's not bad. It's pretty good, and yeah, it does its job as, um, you know, you could put, um, like, the barrel in it, and I think you can even put the cow, yeah. It's, uh, it's a nice-looking truck. Very nice. So, the next things we'll have a look at are these two um, wooden fences, and they look really nice. They have some good detailing. They have some grass both sides. Both pieces of the fence have the grass, and they look really good. I think they can fit in this truck. Yes, they can. They can fit, so there you go. You can have Diesel pull the fences in the truck, so that's, that's really good. Um, I like them because they're made out of wood. Instead of, you know, they could have made them out of plastic, but they didn't. They made them out of wood, which I'm really happy with. And I wonder, can these fit in the aquarium trucks? Oh, okay, that one can fit in. Okay, so you can only fit one fence in this truck, which is better than nothing, you know. It adds more play value to this truck, which is really good. So yeah, overall, these are quite nice fences. I do like them. So, the last two pieces we get in this pack are this barrel, this dairy barrel, which has the same prints 
of a cow um, as the truck. And what's cool is it has a magnet on it. So let's just say you can get Harvey and he can hook onto it and, you know, swing it around or, you know, something like that, which is really nice. And if you have Cranky, Cranky could also lift it up. And it can go into the truck that came with the pack, and Diesel can pull it along, which is very nice. And let's see, I actually wonder, can it fit in the aquarium truck? Oh, look at that. It can fit. So that adds more play, play value to the aquarium trucks. Well, okay, so this is a really nice barrel, and it is completely made out of wood except for the magnet, which is metal. Very nice um, piece of cargo. And our last piece that we have is this cow. And I'm pretty sure that this is um, all plastic. Its head can go down. It's kind of stiff, though. The head can go down so it looks like, you know, it's eating grass, maybe. And it can go back up. And a nice feature is that it can fit in the truck, so Diesel could be, like, pulling the cow along and I just want to see if it can fit in the yeah look at that can even fit in the aquarium truck so that's really nice it does have milk all over it which looks pretty cool or maybe those are spots I'm not too sure I think it's milk though yeah very very nice um little cow it's very nice so, what do I think of this pack? I think this pack is actually a really good pack. It has a lot of play features with all the things that you can load into the car into the cargo truck. It comes with a nice cow and exclusive diesel. It has a lot of wood. It it's great value, especially for the price that it was. And, you know, overall, I think it's a very good pack. So, that's why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching.